Okay, folks, we are recording. So in this third, this third video, that's a setup video, right? So, so this is just all the things that we need to mod Minecraft. And so if we kind of recap, the first thing was the JDK. And the JDK was the library of code. We downloaded a library of code. And you can use that library of code to write Java itself, right? So that's, but then you needed an editor. And the editor that we downloaded in the second video um, was IntelliJ. So the first video we downloaded and installed the JDK, the library. The second video, we installed an editor. And the third tool is going to be all the actual code that we're going to modify um, the, the actual Java code that's pre-written uh, to, to mod Minecraft. And so um, the, the tool that basically this is the, the Minecraft tool, if you will, um, is called Minecraft Forge. And you might have heard of Minecraft Forge. So if you just... I Forge, but I might, not, I might not have the right version, but I think I have it. Yeah, so that's... I have it, but I might not have the right version. We're just going to download the, the version um, 1.16.4. So if you go and you click on Minecraft Ford, Forge, over here to the left, um, we're going to use 1.16.4. So if I if I kind of walk you through the steps again, I'm gonna click back. I just did a Google can I, search for my. Can I say something? Go ahead. If you're gonna become like an all-time modder, 1.12.2 is usually the best. Can usually can handle like the most of my stuff. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Um, I was wondering. So. I have used Curse Forge before, but uh, oh, sorry, no, Minecraft Forge. But um, is Minecraft Forge the same thing as Curse Forge? I got a little confused about that. Yes. Okay. Because I have, um, well, I don't know. It just it's it says it's called Curse Forge on my computer. I think it's but, like a different version or something. So it's like they're related. I think Minecraft Forge is the website, but I wasn't sure. Well, for this camp, I mean, um, if, if you used a different version in the past, that's totally fine. For this camp, we're going to use uh, on Minecraft Forge. And I, I want everyone to look at 1.16.4, please. So you come to this page, and, and I'd like everyone to get to this point right here, where it says Downloads for Minecraft Forge 1.16.4. I was going to ask how you get there. Okay. If you put it in the chat, go to the chat. What is it? Forge. Minecraft Forge. Okay, Google Minecraft Forge. Colin, I can hear you. If, if you want Listen to what he says instead of worrying about. Thank you, Colin. Uh, keep in mind, everyone, as we're as we're doing this, we are recording. So anything that you say is in the recording. If you have a question, um, if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask. Maybe ask in the chat. Um, but if, if you come over the voice channel, just realize it is recording, and that's fine. Um, but just realize it's going to be on. It's going to be on YouTube. Your question will be, and that's again, that's fine. Okay. So let me back up just a step. I went to Google. I Google searched Minecraft Forge. I clicked on the top link. It brought me to the website, but it's the version 1.16.5. And I'm going to click on the version 1.16.4.
Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to create a folder on my desktop where you're going to download these files to. Okay, so I'm going to minimize to my desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder. Was I supposed to download something on Minecraft Forge? I haven't downloaded yet. anything. Not yet. Not yet. I just got oh. the page. And the folder is 1.16 tutorial mod. So I just made a new folder and I gave it that name. 1.16 tutorial mod. Are you supposed to make it an independent folder, or do you make it, up, or do you do it straight from the website? Nope, you can just right click on the desktop and then click new folder. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, back on the web page, I'm not going to click this yet, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to click. So if everyone would take a look at my screen, there's the first thing is I want you to make sure that you're on version 1.16.4. So this, this right here needs to say exactly 1.16.4. If not, you can click on the link on the left to make sure you're on the right version of Minecraft Forge. And what I'm going to click on is the MDK. Okay. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to save that to? It might ask you, it might not. Where do you want to download it to? If I click on this. Now, this is an advertisement. And you can click on skip. So up at the top, this is an advertisement. Click on skip. Then it goes to download. So it's going to download the mdk.zip. Where you want to download it to is that folder that we created, the we Web 16 created. tutorial. Wait a second. Um, can can I just um real quick say um that I can't um. I can't get it in. I mean, I can't. For some reason, I can't. Uh, I can't get a new folder. And then, are we supposed to hit install? That's okay if you can't get a new folder. I'll I'll back up and I'll show you how to. Uh, do that. Like, which of the options are we supposed to hit on? You click on the MDK, but if you don't have a new folder yet, don't click on the MDK yet. Yes. Okay, just hold on. I. I want to create a new folder. If I get ahead of you, it's okay. Um, I'll come back. I'll circle back. Um, I cannot. Um, it says your download is ready. Start download, but in the background it says your software may be out of date. Click on save. No. Okay, I'm going to this PC help everyone out. New okay. folder. Okay, folks, I went ahead and uh, resumed the recording. So I think everyone's caught up um, to this point. And what this point is, is you've downloaded a file into this folder. So if I, if I open up my, I got this folder on my desktop called 1.16 tutorial mod. And I've got this. What this is, is a zipped folder. So I, I, what we did is we downloaded a zipped folder. And what we need to do, if you open that or just double click that zipped folder, you should have this button to extract all. Okay, so again, I'll, I'll go through these steps. I go into this folder on my desktop. I double click this zipped folder and I get this extract all option. 
So you click this extract all bo uh, button up top and then you click extract. And then you can close the windows. So once you click that extract button, now what you'll have, if you go inside this folder, you'll have a zipped folder and you'll have a non-zipped folder. And you can tell the difference in their icons, right? The zip folder has a little zip icon here. This folder does not have the zip icon. So this is the next step to get everyone to where you've got the uncompressed folder that's been extracted from the compressed folder. Okay, folks, I'm going to stop right here in that we've downloaded Minecraft Forge and we've unzipped it. Okay, I want to get everyone to this spot before I continue on. And so it's a good time to take lunch. Uh, I'm going to take my lunch at my computer so that if you're not here, okay, I will help you get to this point. So don't go too far, but I'm going to stop the recording here for this one tutorial. And then I'll help everyone get caught up.